Hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Don't do it. There you go. <laughs> and welcome back to Farm Sim 22. Yeah, it's just a disaster. Ah, oh, man. The issue is, now, the reason that I had such a problem trying to load those bales in that other shed, well, it's twofold. For one, all of these sheds have incredibly uneven floors. Like, look at this. Right? You can see how... Yeah. Um, the other being that that particular shed, the walls actually slope in. So... The closer you got to the wall, the less height you actually had. It was hard to see it from the inside, but when you looked at the building from, like, here, you could clearly see the walls went that way as opposed to straight up, see down, see. So, yeah, I moved the uh, honey thingy to where it used to be. And, again, you can see that I tried placing a different shed down so that we could use it for bales. But again, the ground was so uneven that we were getting, you know, $2,000 differences on a $10,000 shed. So that means the deformation is nuts. So, yeah, it's every one of them is, in fact, most worse than others. And I hadn't noticed it when I first came on the map. But they are just sheds. And aside from a place to stack bales, most of them... It doesn't really matter if they're off, you know? Unfortunately, that bunch... I guess when I quit the other day, I must have been... Uh, parked with the fork really close to the bales, like a lot closer than I thought. <laughs> Because, yeah, when I started it up today, uh, basically as soon as I jumped in the tractor, the bales started to topple. So, yeah. Uh, that's probably... Yeah, about there. Ooh, we're still not in, are we? There we go. Oh, don't stick to it. <sighs> now, if I could get out of here. Yeah, this is not what I wanted for a bale shed, but although I can remove sheds, I can't replace any of them. Because, like I said, the ground is so horribly uneven. I mean, you can play sheds with Giants Editor, no matter what the ground looks like, because you just basically sink the legs, you know? Which is how all of these sheds are. None of them are even, because they're all sunk into the ground. So, yeah, I'm not, uh, not that happy with that particular aspect of it, let me tell you. Very tight yard, too. That's all right. That's just a, you know, a how it is kind of thing. It didn't fall in the best place. Now, I do have the multi-bale grabber. And we'll give it a try when we get to that new stack there. Ooh! <laughs> A little bit too aggressive there. There we go. God. 
Why is this so bad? Again, I think it's just because the ground is so uneven, it tips in several different directions. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize there was going to be one single left. Okay. That's why I stuck this guy in here, because I didn't want a single being in the way. But if we've got two of them, perfect. We can stack that right on top of those others. There we go, just enough to hook it. So I hope everybody's doing well today. It is a Sunday morning. Here on the uh, beautiful sunshine coast of British Columbia. Where we're sitting with like a, an inch of snow out there. <laughs> yeah, not impressed. I, uh, Spent time on the uh, recumbent oh, bike this morning as opposed to going out for a walk. Why are you not staying in place? Hmm. Yeah, see the ground is so uneven the further I go down. The harder it was to get it off the forks. Not, uh, I don't like that. I really wish you to put these down on a level pad. Because uh, not everything you put in a shed has got wheels on the bottom of it. Well, I'm way off, aren't I? <laughs> Whoops. Let go, let go. Oh, come on. Let go of the freaking bail. There we are. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Alright, um. Hmm. Well, this will probably be a disaster, but I'll tell you what. I mean, I, the, the silage pits and stuff are perfectly flat. You know what I mean? Looks like they were put in with the lasers. So I really wish... See? Look at the ground here. Big hump in the middle. Oh, what? Oh, for God's sake. No, don't... Oh, nuts. Stand up. There you go. And a lot of it too is I'm not used to this type of uh, really close space, you know? Alright, whereabouts are you really going to be here? 
I think it's supposed to take four bales. Oh. Looks about right. Well, dang, that was fairly painless. As they all suddenly explode. <laughs> sure. Let's grab the last of them. Now let's grab the last of them. Well, the Lambo makes a pretty good little front loader. Let's say. I might take the pressure off. Well, uh, now that it's nice and square. Oops. Push it in snug, and we'll pull out. There we go. Yoink. Okay. That is the bales put away. Not, uh, not perfect, but not bad. Alright, let's pop you in over here. I changed up the, uh, the actual loader, eh? I think the one I was running was a bit too big, so I went a couple sizes small. Now the uh, stuff tends to just touch the ground as opposed to touching it when the thing's out here, which is what I had before. And it doesn't help because it makes the whole unit like three feet longer. And this is a tight enough farm without having itty bitties everywhere. Now for our next trick. We require... These two bits of Kitsa. So I need to find the other tractor. Which I think is up here. Uh, big shout out to Sooty. I watched your uh, start on uh, is it Riverside 22 this morning. Nice job, buddy. I hope you eventually manage to get some sleep. But uh, looks like an interesting map. Okay, we gotta lose the weight. That's all right. We'll pop it over here by our shed. Now, let's go gain some weight. There, let's get rid of this thing. I don't think we really need it, do we? Now, I think this first round, um, like this first field of grass, I think we're going to uh, just swath it up and bale it as 
grass. Hmm. Actually. Let me have a better think about it. So this is TMR. Hey. Oh no, that's straw and that's hay, right? Yeah, because they list hay, silage, and straw. Alright, um... Where, oh, oh, where? That's the poop pit. It's around the other side, isn't it? Here we go. Yep. So, well it says chaff. I assume I can put grass in there. Crap, I hope so. Hmm. Oh, I have no way of collecting grass except bales. Which means I would have to wrap the bales for silage. Okay, we need a bale wrapper. There's always a way. There's always a way. Uh, balers, bale loaders, bale wrappers. Okay, what do we got? You're a roundy, you're a round or a square. $54,000. Round, round or square. Oh, okay. Seems awfully cheap. Yeah, this one's got a hitch, but I think it's a hitch to hook it up to the back of uh, a mower thing that um, it was included with. What's the deal with this one? How does it... Pick bales up? Or does it attach to the back of the baler? Is that the idea? Hmm, I don't think the baler's got a trailer thing to hook up. Well, this works the same, though, doesn't it? Well, it's the same unit, just for round bales, okay. I guess that'll do. Alright. With that said... Now I'm pretty sure this is croppable grass, like it's not just a cow meadow. Right? Field info, grass ready to harvest. Okay, that's what I thought. So, because the actual pasture bit is down here. Alright, let's uh, hop in the John Deere. What silo is empty? Oh, that, it's for the mineral feed. Okay.
Not a wide spreading. No, I don't want it wide spreading. So. Where do I get the uh, work mode? Work mode. Oh no, that's left, right, and middle. Front loader. Crane. Hmm. Well, there was something here for the Kubota pack, but... Oh, switch seat. <laughs> Great. Um, I have no idea how to change the work mode. Well, that sucks. Other than this, whatever the heck that's supposed to be, that's got nothing to do with what we're doing. I don't think. Work mode middle, left shift. Yeah. But I didn't see anything else that even refers to work mode. Shift an eye. Who the heck knew? Not me, I, I promise you that. <laughs> okay, this should now be dropping a beautiful sloth. So, let's, uh, just enough room. Let's switch over to the front mower and get it set up. Nice. On you go. Get the rears turned on. Okay, and away we go. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, they're, they're, it's not like it was impossible to find, uh, oh, I'm going to get to sneak right through the trees, that's handy. <laughs> um, not like it was impossible to get those bales in there, and I don't imagine we're going to get that huge a, uh, 
supply of... Oh, it's cutting that back stuff as well, is it? Yikes. Oh, well. Just be a bit awkward while I get the head under in it. Okay, that's too fast for mowing. I'm going to have to change that in the uh, vehicle shop. Doesn't help that we're going downhill so fast. <laughs> but it's actually uh, propelling me here. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, let's get our bottom headland done. Mr. Bet. There's some quite a bit of bits here. I don't like that. Oh, my rows are so uneven. Stop! Yeah, I don't have room to turn around. So, let's run another one this way. Good thing this is lots of horsepower. This is quite the hill. That's flat out. Just doing 13 to 14. And keep in mind, that's a 400. 
horsepower tractor. Yeah, I'm definitely going to run this to the uh, workshop when we're done this field. And I'm going to turn down the speed on the mowers. That's oh, not, uh, not fun. So yeah, there is a link uh, in the description below to uh, Sooty's channel. Like I said, he just started a new map. He was having issues with the uh, Deerlands map. The AI were pretending they worked for me. We were doing weird things on his farm. <laughs> Full brakes. I could have used GPS to give me straight lines. I keep forgetting about it. I haven't used it yet in 22. I started using it a fair bit in 19. Yeah, I like these mowers on the last map, so I figured we'd uh, go with them again. For the size of them, etc., they're really well priced. Uh, the only thing we've got stock that's any bigger is uh, over a hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's just the rear piece. So by the time you buy both parts, it's about three times what the Kubota kit costs. And Kubota's got a pretty good name. Pretty reliable stuff. It's funny, this is uh, this particular combination I've got going on here, Kubota and John Deere. That's pretty much what you see in this town. Not farming, most of it's all municipal related. Um, but yeah. Uh, Kubota gear, Kubota tractors, and lots of uh, John Deere, both in the uh, traditional farm green and yellow, and the municipal just straight yellow. And tractors, mowers, you name it. They seem to be the two most popular uh, popular brands I've seen here in the few decades I have lived here. Alright, we are almost done the, uh, the mowage part of our day. Nice. Pretty busy first day on the farm, eh? I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to turn the clocks to uh, 5x. I think we can handle it. Because I don't think you could really get uh, two fields harvested in one mode in a single day, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think that would be really uh, pushing the old envelope, you know. Alright. Okay.
No. What do we got going on in the rest of our little world here? Because I think we've actually got another grass field. I mean, I know there's this one. It's not growing yet. But before, we set that guy aside for the day, let's go and have a look at some things. So as I say, we do have this, but it's got a long way to go. Just occurred to me, if I'm going to put silage bales in our silage thing over there, it's perfectly flat. I could put all the bales in there. Oh, but there's no cover. That's right, the silage bale obviously doesn't matter. They come with their own covers. So this... Yeah, okay. Oh, this is only growing, so this one's not quite ready either. Alright, good enough. And of course we need to... Uh, Weeds growing. No. All right, so we don't actually have any grass that's ready. Fifty-nine percent. Yes. Yes, sucketh. And we just did that one. Do we own this one? Because I think this is another grass field up here. Can't see over the hedges. Jump. Jump, species, jump. Uh, no, we don't own it. Okay. So there's this guy that's not quite ready yet. And there's this guy that we've just done. So, um, and what was this? This is ours. Ah, right. Sorghum's. And I've never done sorghum before, I don't think. And there's this guy, which is soybeans. They're also just growing. Okay. So yeah, we are. Uh, Pretty much up to speed, because this is our sunflowers, and they're not going to be ready for a while. Okay. So what we're going to do, as I said, we're going to go over here. Uh, hopefully that's enough to get it all in. And do some customizations. Yes, beautiful. Uh, we will customize you to a working speed of 22 kph standard. Excellent. Yes. Okay. And you, we will customize to 22k standard. Yes, please. Okay. And climb back in, reattach everything, boom and boom, there we are. Now we should actually do a decent speed when we go somewhere. So, let's put you away, and we will put you away down here. You do fit in there, don't you? Ooh. Yeah.
Now I know this one doesn't unfold, so let's just drop her down there. Oh, we're not on the uh, front bit, are we? Set it down. There we go. Okay. Let's go throw our weight back on. And then we can grab the baler. Deer on deer. Alright, look at that. What a nice combo, man. So it's only got 3% is all we're going to lose in straws. It turns it to grassy goodness. So that's not bad. Alright. I have no idea what time I started this. Here, we'll turn it to grass with that bit there, what do you think? Oh, you're right, I did. There you go. Okay. And let's turn all of that. There we go, now it's grass. this up the hill no problem not quickly but it's going to do that job no problem excellent excellent there we go got our first grass bale built huh um Hmm Thought I was gonna leave you, didn't ya? Nah. <laughs> no way I cut you, you're coming with me. There you go. Alright, we're about to drop our first grass bale. Come on. There you go. from here I'll have to do that on the bottom but that's fine And of course, once we do... Get enough supplies put together here, we will... Uh, think on actually getting some critters into the barns. There we go. But I think I've kept you people long enough, as City would say. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. I will uh, 
perhaps continue to bail a bit here. We still got to do the wrapping and then pick it all up and put it away. Um, I guess the stacker will pick it up whether it's wrapped or not, eh? I'm just wondering if it'll actually recognize wrapped bales as bales. So, you know, that could be an issue. But we will find out, won't we? Till then, though, take care of each other. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode, and, uh, well, ciao for now.